guys welcome back today we are making an infinity wrap jumpsuit the length of my pants is 40 inches um so i'm going to take one inch and i will indicate it with a straight line on the folded part of my fabric my fabric is folded into two the width of my fabric is 15 inches. I divided my lap circumference and I added 4 and half inches. From the waist point, I'll go down by 10 inches for my hip point and I'll straighten the line horizontally. The next point I'll take is my crush point. To get your crush point, Place your tape on or above your belly button just like you see me doing in this video. Then pass the tape between your legs to your back waistline. Then whatever you get, you are going to divide it by 2. E.g. I got 28, I divided it by 2 and it gave me 14. So I'm going to minus 2 for my band because I'm going to be adding a band to this band. So I'm going to minus 2 from my 14 inches. I'll be left with um, 12 inches. So that's what I'm going to place on my crush points. I will mark my 12 inches horizontally and I'll straighten my line. On my waist point, I will mark 1.5 inches in for shapening and I will slant to meet my hip line. The next thing I will do is to take my waist circumference divided by 2 and I will add 0 0.5 inches as my seam allowance. On my hip line, um, I'm going to divide my hip by 4 and I will mark it down. I will also add 1 inch for seam allowance. On my crush point, I'm going to divide um, my lap circumference by 2. So um, my lap circumference is 22. I'm going to divide it by 2 which will give me 11. So I'm going to place 11 on my um, crush point and I'm going to add 2 inches for seam allowance. I will connect my waist to my hip and I'll connect my hip to the crotch line with my ruler just like I'm doing. So you can either use your ruler and if you don't have, you can use your free hand to do this. So to get the middle point of my pants, I'm going to put my tape on my crotch line to find out what I have. So I'm going to divide whatever I have into two and I'll place it on the base of my pants. So I have um, 13 inches. Um, 13 inches divided by 2 is 6.5 inches. So I'm going to place the 6.5 inches on the base of my pants just like I'm doing. So whatever you have, place it like this. What I'll do next is to determine how wide I want my palazzo pant to be. So I want it to be 13 inches wide. So I will divide the 13 inches by 2. 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. I'll mark 6.5 inches from the middle point to my left and to my right. So if you want your palazzo pant to be wider than mine, make sure the fabric you are folding is more than 15 inches. For this palazzo pant, I folded 15 inches. You can fold 20 and above. It depends on how wide you want your pant to be. And I want the wideness of mine to be 13 inches. If you want yours to be 14, 15, 16 inches, once you get the midpoint, you can just take what you have to the left and to the right.
so i'll go ahead and i'll connect my lines and i'll cut and this is the front pattern if you want your pants to be fuller than mine like i said before you can add six to seven inches allowance to your fabric before folding The last thing I'll do on my waistline, I'll come down by one inch from the part that has um, the crotch. I'm going to slant to meet the other end and I'm going to cut out. So for the back panel, I'm going to place my front piece on a fresh fabric just like this. And mind you, the back um, piece is already folded into two. So I'm going to add 1.5 inch on all points. So I'll make sure that both um, both cross points on both pieces are seated together before I add my 1.5 inches on the crotch line. After cutting, I'm going to place the crush together and I'll pin it. I'll take it to my machine and I'm going to sew for both the front piece and the back piece. So this is what it looks like after sewing. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place both front and back piece together and I'm going to sew on the crotch line. After sewing the crotch line, um, the next thing I'm going to do is to join the sides. So I'm going to pin it up like this and I'm going to join with 0.5 inches. So I'm done joining the sides. I'm going to turn my pants inside out like this and the next thing i'll do is to open my zip allowance for the back so this is my zip allowance of 0.5 inch and this is my band um the length of my band is the length of my my waist plus two inches and the wideness of my band is 5 inches. I folded um, 0 0.5 inches on both ends like this. So what I have here is 4 inches. After folding and sewing, it's going to give me 2 inches. So I'm going to pin my band to my pants just like you see me doing.
So after sewing, I'm going to fold it over like this to give me a neat finishing. So what I did next was to cut out two long um, fabric like this though mine is not very long mine is 49 inches for the length and the wideness is 17.5 inches so when cutting make sure yours is very um, long so that So I'm going to end the sides just like this. I'll end this side. I'll also end the other side and I'll end um, the down part, just one of it because the other side we are going to attach that part um, to the pants. So after aiming, this is what it looks like. Um, the next thing I'll do is to grab my pants and I'm going to start pleating these on the waist on my on the waist of my pants. So you can just walk your way around it. First of all, make sure you notch the middle point of your pants and then you can start pleating these on your pants. So just walk your way around it. If you like, you can gather it. If you like, you can pleat it. So after sewing, this is what it looks like. So the last thing I will do is to open up my zipper allowance because I pinned it to find the middle point of my trouser before attaching the wrap. Um, I will attach my zip and then I will empty the down part of my pants. Thank you very much for watching. See you. In